the impact of British rule in India. In this session, we are going to discuss about the impact of British administration in India, particularly on uh, judicial system, civil services, police system, military system, land tax policies, permanent jamidari system, mahalwari system, raidwari system, and uh, land tax system impact of British administration on land tax system very important thing modern education system and their impact impact of British education in India all these we are going to discuss in this session first let's start with uh, administrative and judicial system what impact in civil services here I go with the uh, key points Lord Cornwallis one of the governor general of uh, British governor general of India he introduced civil services in India for the first time in terms of one mark it is very important Lord Cornwallis civil services and uh, initially he appointed employees through examination particularly civil services for the purpose of trade that was mere purpose of trade and government of uh, England implemented the regulating act in 1773 to bring control over uh, East India Company employees Lord Cornwallis one more opened the Fort William College remember Fort William College that is in uh, Calcutta why Fort William College was established we have to keep in mind aspiring to join civil services that is the main intention of Fort William College in 1853 onwards appointment was done through examinations British suspected efficiency of Indians so that uh, Lord Cornwallis argued that all the natives of Hindustan are completely corrupt this statement we have to keep in mind all the natives of Hindustan are completely corrupt this was said by Lord Cornwallis later uh, because of this statement they started to give uh, lower grade jobs for Indians that is civil services judicial system what important thing they brought in judicial system Mughal Emperor Shah Alam II handed over Diwani rights authority to collect land taxes. This one we know that. Diwani rights. This is according to Battle of Baksar. Diwani rights. Right to collect the taxes. That is the very initial stage of judicial system. The background of judicial system. How it introduced in India. What the Shah Alam handed over Diwani rights to British right to collect taxes and one more thing very important milestone that is what Robert Clive introduced uh, dual government dual government and Diwani right these are the very important milestones in judicial system in dual government civil and judicial system was given to Indians that led to the implementation of a new judicial system in India dual government and uh, Warren Hastings took administration in 1772 as first governor of India Warren Hastings he brought two types of uh, judicial system courts in India one is Divan, Divani Adalat and uh, Fausdari Adalat should keep in mind Diwani Adalat and Fauzari Adalat civil court and criminal court these two 
implemented by Warren Hastings, the first governor of India in 1772. He come to India, and uh, there was uh, uh, Hindus and Muslims were dispensed justice as per uh, Hindu scripture and Sharia respectively. Sharia for Muslims and uh, Hindu scripture for Hindus. Civil courts what established by Warren Hastings under European officers and criminal courts were under Qazis. Qazi is just like uh, one who he is like a judge. S criminal courts were under Qazi. Civil courts were under European officers. Police system. Lord Cornwallis, one more very important implementation police system implemented in India he created a new post that is SP what we call now today SP superintendent of police that was his implementation and uh, under uh, his uh, rule he divided district administration center and uh, Kotwal, every village, and under Chowkidar. Due to severe drought in 1770, the police system let, uh, totally led to weak. Police system came under the British officer because of that drought. Department of uh, British Magistrates started. In 1902, the Police Commission law allowed suitable education qualification for the post in 1902. So here, Lord Cornwallis police system. Military system. Military was the base of administration. British abort and uh, many more Indians and to control of India with the help of military. Indians could not reach the, even the rank of Subedar. Most Indians were uh, coolie soldiers. We already discussed about uh, how the condition was, how the soldiers, con Indian soldiers condition was. In soldiers condition was pathetic during 1857 revolt. We discussed earlier that. British government accepted the recommendations of Peel. We should remember the recommendations of Peel, 1857. And uh, military system was redesigned. Remember, Peel recommendations, 1857. One more impact on land taxes. Here we are going to discuss different types of land taxes three one is a uh, perm permanent uh, jamindari system mahalwari and raitwari permanent jamindari system here one more time lord cornwallis lord cornwallis implemented jamindari system 1793 bengal and uh, bihar region what are the features of this zamindari system zamindar was a landowner and expected to pay land tax to the british company he was a land owner zamindar was free to collect any amount of tax from farmers second one feature zamindar was a land owner and he is a collector of tax and he was free to collect any amount of tax. Company has the right to cancel land ownership of Jamindar. This is the very important feature. Jamindar is not uh, powerful. Company is the powerful. Jamindar, if he fail to collect tax and pay the tax to the company, his right will be cancelled. And uh, company and farmers greatly benefited 
uh, were uh, particularly farmers were the grave sufferers in this particular system farmers are grave sufferers farmers exploited and uh, that led to insecure life because of zamindari system farmers exploited the system extended to orissa and andhra varanasi here is very important statement is there what uh, charles metcalf had given the indian farmers were born in debt lived in debt and died in debt we should remember this statement can be asked in one mark indian farmers were born in debt lived in debt and died in debt said by charles metcalf mahalwari system mahal means taluk this system was imp- uh, implemented by r m beard and james thompson where it was implemented madhya pradesh punjab delhi uttar pradesh here uh, mahaldars are the tax collectors mahaldars in place of zamindars mahaldars came to collect land tax from farmers mahaldar Uh, tax collecting officers mahal means taluk i said that right wari system right wari system who are the impl- uh, who implemented this alexander reed he was the uh, he was implemented one more thomas munro thomas munro and alexander reed here both farmers and company directly linked in right wari system tiller become the owner of the land tiller who is tiller farmer is the tiller tiller means cultivator in raitwari system tiller became the owner of the land and what percent has to pay the tax 50% of his production has to pay to the company as the land tax and uh, the tenure of uh, uh, cultivation of land is about uh, 30 years and uh, formals for uh, subject formals subjected to more suffering here also because due to heavy tax and uh, officials uh, used to take uh, very punitive actions to collect land taxes whenever the farmers fail to pay the taxes and farmers sometime had to borrow money from money lenders to pay the taxes and farmers had to lose their land due to this implementation so this is right wari system who when it was introduced what are the important features you have to keep in mind what was the land tax system impacts because of land tax system land tax system introduced by britishers what impact on india new class of zamindars created zamindars became landless and land became the commodity and uh, loans could be raised by mortgage of land many zamindars had to mortgage their land to pay land tax agriculture sector became commercialized very important thing agriculture sector became commercialized and grow raw materials needed for england factories money lenders became strong this is all impact we have to keep in mind we have to concentrate on this impacts of land tax system can be asked for 3 marks modern education system what british brought education new education system in india certain changes occurred in traditional education system of india during muslim rule middle age and british rule yes india has undergone different changes in education system since ancient time even in modern period um, uh, british period also it undergone many changes what initially started some changes there new schools were started for children of british officers 
it uh, not extended this facility for locals only in view of education for british officers the schools were started but when warren hastings came to india he facilitated modern education in india started uh, uh, in kolkata and uh, madras modern education system in india warren hastings jonathan duncan started the sanskrit college in banaras 1792 sanskrit college jonathan duncan charles grant passed the universalization of british education in 1854 charles grant charles wood report we call 1854 universalization of british education and william bentinck very important thing here william bentinck governor general uh, appointed uh, as the member of executive committee and uh, chairperson of education uh, committee lord uh, macaulay submitted a report on education in 1835 lord macaulay he was a educationist what was his aim see creation of new class of indians who are indians by body but british in intelligence opinion and taste this particular line we have to keep in mind lord macaulay one who brought english education system in india during that time lord william bentinck was governor general lord dalhousie this is very important three universities he established at kolkata bombay and madras lord dalhousie filled universities at kolkata bombay and madras last one impact of british education in india it can be asked for three marks impact of british education in india uh, what impact first one development of modernity secularism democratic attitude and rationality nationalistic ideas in indians all these ideas were developed in indians increased local literature facilitated the unity in thinking process and uh, emerge periodicals newspapers indians have uh, to have critical opinions on various issues new social and religious reform movement started very remarkable thing here so uh, uh, social reformation was started because of education system and uh, uh, brought fresh thinking in uh, indians mind by j s mill rousseau montesquieu and indians were influenced by freedom struggles they are they were influenced by other countries freedom struggle freedom fight uh, indians could uh, understand and appreciate their rich tradition and created new generation of indians with progressive attitude this is all impact this impact of british education can be asked for three marks and uh, modern education system that can be asked for three marks and land tax system can be asked for three marks and uh, all the right worry mahal worry as well as uh, uh, permanent jamindari system we have to read properly in terms of three marks thank you for joining thank you